time. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right, so we are finally back home. After we landed, we went to the parents' house, chilled there, watched football, and ate some good man home cooked meals, <laughs> which was really nice. I had a couple plates of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? That Afghan food tastes fire. Now it is currently eight o'clock, so you already know what the plan is. I've got to schedule a few things for tomorrow. Like I said, it's a perfect day for us to come back Sunday known as the chill day in the back of my head my head's like yo you ain't been to the gym in like four, five six seven how many, how many went to the gym what two days i think so i haven't been to the gym in like over a week which is we're gonna talk about the whole pros and cons to this trip pros of course resting not taking any work with me aside from these daily vlogs which is not that taxing that's only like two three hours of my day not much aside from that did nothing took nothing with me it was just relax get some good man sleeps sleeping sessions and between eight to ten hours and that sometimes even 11 30 you know, ones. see your friends enjoy good food just overall relax the body so the whole not going to the gym was kind of a good thing because i was planning to do a deload week eventually because i had been pushing my body pretty hard the last couple of weeks before i traveled i was doing two a days cardio was up all that kind of stuff so taking that little little break was uh, nice. I enjoyed it. Of course, I, I would like to go to the gym every single day, but again, it wasn't the case. I couldn't. So I've already told the wife from now on, I need to make sure before I travel for this amount of time, wherever I'm going, I don't care if it costs me extra. I need to have a hotel with a gym. I don't care if it's just the deadest gym, with just a couple of dumbbells or whatnot, just somewhere I can do something to get my heart rate up and move my body. Um, hence why walking really saved us because we was doing anywhere between 15 to 25,000 steps daily because me and my wife we walk everywhere London obviously I've lived there so I know that place very well inside out um, Paris we've been there before but I'm like Google Maps once I go to a place once it's over I'll remember it <laughs> you know especially certain locations I don't need to use Google Maps and that only on occasion so we were just walking everywhere we don't take Ubers and stuff like that we only took an Uber from the train station from Paris to the hotel and then obviously from the hotel to the airport that's the only time we took any type of uber um, we took the bus once that was because the wife was like oh, I'm tired but the average was 15 to 25,000 steps so that kind of helped us out a little bit also eating wise I fasted a few of the days but I just found it very difficult fasting whilst on whilst traveling again like I said no home cooked meals none of that stuff it's just take out take out take out for what 11 12 days had nothing but take out which one is very expensive <laughs> but also it's like you know i missed waking up making my oats having the eggs that's probably the biggest con for me when traveling that kind of stuff so that's why it's kind of good sometimes to take an airbnb where you have someone's you're allowed to use someone's kitchen and you can actually shop like shop and actually put things in the fridge and whatnot and actually cook home cooked meals so even though the Airbnb might be a couple, let's say about 20 or 30 pound or something like that more than the actual hotel, you kind of end up saving money because the amount of times you eat, every time you eat out, you're spending what, 40, 50 pound on, on a meal. You know what I mean? And you're doing that three times a day. Come on, you know, the coffees, teas, it all adds up, you know what I'm saying? So next time, if we're gonna chat for this long, probably think of Airbnb. Even though I do kind of like the hotel, just chill. If someone comes and makes your bed, you know, that one's there. You come in, you leave, you come back, room all cleaned up, bed all made up. Yeah. It's nice, but I would rather have a kitchen where I can cook home cooked meals. Um, I know some of you probably think that's weird. If you're on vacation, isn't the whole eating out and all that stuff part of the experience? Which it is. It's true. It is part of the experience. But when you're there for about two weeks, for me, two weeks is long enough. It's the same when I go to Gambia. I'm like, after a week, I'm like, I just want to go home. I miss my work. Which is also a very good sign. That means I actually love what I do. 
because being away for it for I'm telling you four or five days to, I'm ready to go back <laughs> I know you know some people need breaks I don't I like what I do so but overall great trip um, tomorrow I'm definitely gonna weigh myself in the morning to see how much damage we've done like I said no working out um, eating out all the time so the whole sodium trying to I was trying to keep my protein high but again Paris they really have like high protein meals that's why you say I saw a lot of like kebab um, steak those type of meats because I was really trying to keep my my protein up playing around with carbs and fats just having fun but again I don't regret anything anything I did this holiday I don't regret nothing um, which is one of the most important things don't regret anything I fully enjoyed it me and my wife enjoyed it she was like we're already back good which is a good sign I'm happy to be back I missed my office bad can't wait to get in there and get the work in but like I said it is Sunday I'm probably gonna chill for the rest of the evening like I said eight o'clock head to bed around the one two just plan and get everything ready for tomorrow and then we'll be back at it again obviously now I'm home fasting as well gonna be back on the on on the books again I've got all documented good man memories which we can look back in the future you know couple years from now I'll be like you know that time we went to London and then we went to straight to Paris and Boom, it's now here on YouTube. Uh, that's that's the main reason why I document like my daily vlogs. It's a diary. You know people journal? Me, I video vlog, uh, diary, journal. That's why I call it Mr. Journals type of situation. Mr. Daily Journals. Uh, because it is things that I do every day and it's very easy to look back on, you know? Um, but again, people have options. If you want to try it, I, get, I recommend a lot of people try it out. Even if you keep it as private on YouTube, Rap, do it for yourself, innit? You can come back in a couple of years, look at your old videos, and be like, yo, you know, I remember that time. And you have vid like visual memories. It's important, you know? Now that we have the digital age, we're in the digital age, might as well use it to its advantage, innit? You know, back then it was more paper, notes, and stuff like that. But nowadays, everything's online. So you don't have to make it public. You can make it private. Just save it for yourself, innit? Wherever you travel, take videos and whatnot. Because you can put it on your iCloud, but again, how much memory do you have on the cloud and whatnot? Good to be home. First thing I want to do is make myself a nice glass of water. <laughs> and then make me some tea. And then finish off editing this vlog. And then tomorrow we're going to see how much damage we've done. Hopefully it's not too crazy. Hopefully. Am I going to go gym tonight? I might as well just let it slide in it. Then again though, then again though, then again a little cheeky session wouldn't be that bad, you know? <laughs> I might have to think about it. Let me edit my vlog first and then see the situation, innit? You know what I'm saying? 8 o'clock, finish it about 9.30. My gym close at 12. Might just have to be a thing, you know? Oof. I'll catch you lot tomorrow, innit? Love life, love life, love life. Peace.